Hi, my name is Michaela, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Wet n Wild foundation. This I got from Walmart for four dollars and sixty-eight cents, and I have two colors. I have soft beige and golden beige. I think golden beige is a little bit darker, and so I'm going to try those out today. I'm going to take a makeup wipe and wipe off the makeup I already have on. So I'll talk a little bit about my skin. My skin is naturally a little bit on the oily side and I am acne prone. So just in case anyone was wondering, I've heard so many good reviews about this. So I'll put it to the test. And put my hair up a little bit with this scrunchie. Right, so I'm gonna try both of these and see which one's kind of my color right now. I do have a little bit of self. Oh, I was not expecting this applicator. All right, well, I just got on my laptop. Um, I am a little bit self tanned right now, so my face is. A little bit lighter than my skin, my neck. So this is the lightest one. This is soft beige. There are fireworks going off outside. And I'm going to match both of these to my neck. Let's see which one matches me better. I think this golden beige is going to be a little bit too dark. But we will see. So this is golden beige. I usually like to go for more of a yellow undertone yeah but this one i think matches me better hmm. yeah i don't think i'm ready for that one okay so i'm gonna use soft beige which is the lighter one of the two wipe those off my hands all right so this foundation claims <clears throat> number 365C soft beige goodbye photo flashback helps eliminate white particles reflection um, image shown above is a digital simulation for illustration purposes only okay tested under seven light conditions uh, with top smartphone models with and without flash. Okay, so this doesn't have SPF, I'm assuming, since it um, says that it works with flash. So we'll try this on. Um, I don't think I'm going to try this on with a primer. I want to see how it works by itself. So I'm just going to... Oh, this kind of seems insanitary. I'm just going to use the applicator and kind of wipe it onto my face. So right now I do have some acne on my forehead, around my mouth a little bit, and I already damped, dampened my beauty blender. I won't give this a go. Let's get a little handheld mirror here and see what we're working with a little bit up close. The Beauty Blender is by far my favorite way to apply foundation. Wow. Okay. For being 458 or whatever this was. 468. One, this is a really good match. Ooh, maybe a little bit on the light side, but. the forehead. Try to avoid my eyebrows so I don't have to redo them. A 
a little bit on my eyelids, a little veiny, a little discolored. Get into the ear a little bit. So it blends. Wow. I'm just looking in this mirror right here I have close to me. And I'm gonna be real honest, this this does look pretty good. It looks like a like a natural finish. It blended pretty easily. I'd say probably medium coverage. Like a natural yet natural finish. I mean it's still a little a little dewy, but not too bad. Like I said, I have oily skin, so I like to avoid um too dewy of foundations. Well, I say that works pretty well. Hmm. Get a little close so you can see. See, I have some acne right there. A little bit along my forehead. Around my mouth a little bit over here. A little stress since I have been traveling. But I mean, that looks pretty good. Hmm. Not bad. I'll finish up my makeup and I'll let you know what I think about it. Foundation, like you saw. And then I just put some of my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Neutral. I applied that under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, um, forehead, and a little bit on my chin. And first impression, I've got to say, I actually really like it. I mean, I know I just put it on, but um, I kind of want to see if it oxidizes or anything like that. Um, and then I just kind of went in with, um, I just bought this as well. I heard a lot of good things about the uh, Cody Airspun powder. And I got the shade um, Naturally Neutral. Yeah, so this was about 5 $5.97, so um, I want to see how it stands up against my Laura Mercier powder. So far, so good. I, I really like this foundation. I think it's a pretty good color, I would say. And then I just use my little NARS duo, the Laguna and Orgasm. It's a little beat up, as you can see, much loved. Had it for quite a while almost out of that Laguna and just kind of contoured a little bit, bronzed up my face, my nose, my jawline, cheekbones, and then put the orgasm blush on. So yeah, that's about it. I um, wanted to do a review of this. I will put on the, in the description box below any updates that I have if I wear this throughout the night. Um, just, I mean, it's already 5.49 p.m. so it's kind of late. Um, let's see if this oxidizes or anything like that. Right now I'd say it's pretty true to my skin. So we'll see if that, that changes at all. Um, I will keep you updated. Thanks so much.